To set up and view the keyboard events, click on the icon here. It will show you the event, the date and the time, the application, the title description, and the value. So let's see an example. If you open a file and we type hello Spirex users, it's there. We type this. We click here. We go to the keyboard events again. Here we go. We use the application notepad.x. This one. <clears throat> the type of the file and the description and what we typed exactly the value. To be able to set up the keyboard events, click on settings, event log, and click here. And you can show non print charts, show delete charts, and you can apply. To be able to view a screenshot, click on the here, detail view, and your image shall be open. To be able to edit the settings for the screenshots, go to settings, choose screenshot, and here you can get the screenshot quality. You can make it medium, HQ, you can put the window change, you can clipboard change, whatever you're selecting that the screenshot will take. To be able to view and to edit the clipboard value, click on the icon here. It will give you a list of the date of time, application, and title description, and the value as usual. Let's take an example. Here, hello world. And let's select the text, put copy. If we go here and click again, it will refresh, and it will say to us, this is the value. To be able to view and to edit the social network activities, click on this icon here. We have Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Google+, and LinkedIn to set up. Go to my settings, and here you have the select social networks for monitoring. You can pick Facebook, you can take off like let's hear Google+. This is for the instant messaging monitor. It can be for MSN, Skype, etc. To be able to see the web pages visited, click on the icon here and it will give you the browsers used, the application of course, the title and the description of the page and it's linked. You can find the event by right clicking, you can even visit the address from here. To be able to view the alerts, click on local users, user, choose alert should find it empty because we have no alert set it. If we go to settings, you can find alert here. Here we get to pick the time of the alert. We have to pick the undesirable web pages and unwanted words and phrases. And once you click apply, it shall send you an alert. To be able to view the user activity, click on local users, user, user activity. It will give you the event logs here. To be able to set it up, click on settings, here, user activity again, and it will give you this option, which is record the period of inactivity for more than minutes. And you set up how many minutes you want it to record. And it will record the session ending and starting.